It's a sad fact. More than 1,000 U.S. service members have lost either an arm or leg in the Iraq and Afghanistan wars. But many are returning to combat with bionic limbs. And as 2 News reporter Marla Carter found out in tonight's segment two, these prosthetics are actually stronger and have more stamina than the real thing. This is the latest weapon on the battlefield. It's not a robot, but a bionic leg. Attached to Sergeant Jordan Smith, U.S. Army. It's kind of like I had my leg back when I got this one. We're going to start giving you power now. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> Sergeant Smith and his bionic ankle have come to Tactical Defense Institute. One of five amputees participating in a pilot program, learning how to handle firearms using their bionic limbs. Yeah, you're pretty decent. Good. Good. It was a bullet that took Sergeant Smith's leg, fired by an Iraqi insurgent during an ambush in Baghdad. He permanently displays the name of his buddies who didn't survive. It's rough. It's hard. Um, it's, I kind of, why me? Why did I live and they didn't? Um, why did I get hurt? I mean, four inches. The bullet would have missed me. Either way, four inches. The infantrymen have been using the IWOC biome foot for about a year. My good leg gets tired before my prosthetic leg. This one's got assistance. I mean, it, it's, I'm trying to keep up with it. That's because it is truly bionic. A piston replaces the calf muscle and Achilles tendon. And with six microcomputers inside, it even does the thinking for the lower leg. This seems to go beyond what the manufacturers are even claiming it'll do. Sam Santarita owns SRT Prosthetics, which fits amputees with several kinds of artificial limbs. Perfect. There you go. Now we just need a reload. Like the bionic knee. But the biome ankle is a game changer. It's the first product I've seen in 25 years that actually mimics what the human body is doing and in some ways is superior in strength to the power that's in the human ankle. Strong enough to send this soldier back into combat. Sergeant Smith says it's as simple as reloading. It's a battery, it doesn't get tired. It dies, swap them out. Two seconds, you're going right back at it. A generation ago, almost 98% of amputee warriors would leave the military. Now the Army says one out of five single amputee soldiers returns to full duty. Everything was left up to me. What do you want to do? That uh, was the big question. What do you feel comfortable doing? Um, do you want to stay active duty? Do you want to retire? Um, and I chose to stay in. Sergeant Smith says he can slip on his bionic leg and keep up with anyone. I can do this. Marla Carter, 2 News works for you. You know, technology is something, but those men and women are incredible. Well, Sergeant Smith is returning to active duty, and as an infantry sergeant, they said he's likely going to head back to combat with that bionic leg.